Hello, I am Minecraft Phenomo8, and today I'm going to be showing off my mechanism a nuclear fission reactor. And it is built inside of this giant concrete tower that is supposed to look like a cooling tower from an actual nuclear reactor facility or nuclear reactor power plant. So today I'm going to be showing off this because I actually didn't have time to go ahead and make a video as far as uh, building something or automating something. And that's because my server's actually been down for the last uh, day or so uh, because I couldn't figure out how to get it back up and running. But finally, I was able to do that. But uh, yeah, uh, time is kind of short. So I figured I'd show off this awesome build. So anyways, I have this nuclear reactor and it's actually built into two levels. I think it's something like uh, what, 15 by 15 by 15 or something like that. It does produce, or right now it's producing uh, 639,000 millibuckets of steam per tick. And it is consuming 32 millibuckets of fissile fuel per tick. So there's a lot to this building as uh, right here you only actually get to see the reactor. So let's actually take a look at the entire facility. So if we go down, we see the second half of the nuclear reactor here. And uh, there's actually some redstone here that controls the reactor. And this redstone torch being on is telling the reactor to be on. And so you see there are some energy conduits. And these energy conduits actually come from a couple of turbines, which are accepting the steam, which out is output from right here from the reactor. And the steam is split off into these two turbines which each make about 1 million uh, forged energy per tick. So that's actually a pretty fantastic amount of energy. And uh, the turbines, when they're done with the steam, uh, the steam we convert back into water and is uh, sent back to the reactor right there. So uh, let's take a look at where the energy actually goes. So we actually need to go down for that. It actually goes into this large uh, induction matrix which actually can hold a lot of power here. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to say how much power, but yeah, it would take me weeks to fill up this uh, induction matrix with energy. It would take me even longer to actually use that energy. So what I have set up is an automatic switch as well as a manual switch for turning on and off the reactor. If I toggle this and you listen closely, uh, you might actually hear that the reactor is now disabled and it is shut off. And if I go ahead and toggle it uh, back off, then the reactor actually turns on. But the, uh, the premise of this system right here was actually that the induction matrix ex ex itself can actually turn off the reactor once it becomes uh, mostly full. And I'm not sure what the exact percentage is, but I think it would be somewhere around 80% full. It would automatically shut off the reactor. But as you can see right now, I'm nowhere close to the, uh, the induction matrix being that full of energy. So it runs until I tell it to shut off. So let's go back up and there's a couple more things we need to look at. So um, right here we have some of the reprocessing. Um, and actually the initial waste is sent up to a uh, solar... Uh, Oh, I forget what it's called. But anyways, it turns the, the waste into polonium. And then that polonium is sent back down here. And that polonium is sent uh, turned into the, uh, the polonium item form. And then the waste, the spent nuclear waste, which is sent into barrels into this room. And there's actually five of these rooms. So let's go down. This is the first story. This is the second story. This is the third story, fourth story, and fifth story. They're all identical and they all have the same amount of barrels in them. It's just I need a lot of spent waste storage for my reactor because it does use a lot of fuel. So the last thing in this reactor is actually the fuel making center or the fuel, I, wouldn't, I shouldn't say processing center, but here it is right here. So basically we have a few uh, initial ingredients here. First off, we have uranium ingots. Um, and we have fluorite ore over here sent in. We obviously have water that is coming from a pump down there. We also have sulfur over here. Those are the uh, initial ingredients and all of that is combined in a way that eventually makes this fissile fuel right here, which is being used by the reactor. 
So I'm not going to go over this because uh, actually I'm planning on showing an episode uh, how you can automate this yourself. Um, one thing you might want to take notice of is that I have one of all of the machines here except for the chemical oxidizers and the pulverizers which are supplying the sulfur dust to the chemical oxidizers. And that's because if I run all of the other machines uh, at a quicker pace with uh, some of the speed upgrades here, um, uh, the uh, chemical oxidizers will not be able to keep up. And so eventually, uh, pretty much everything on the back end of the system will run dry and won't have enough ingredients. Uh, and once again, that's only if you have uh, plenty of speed upgrades. Uh, I actually have only six speed upgrades in this isotopic centrifuge, but it still uses a lot of power and it does produce a lot of fissile fuel. Right now it's producing, I think, uh, it's 32 or 64 millibuckets of fissile fuel per tick. I can't remember which. But anyways, that is my uh, fission nuclear reactor from Mechanism, and it's uh, basically all of its facilities. I think it's a pretty fantastic build. I think it looks really good as well, and it provides way more than enough power for my entire base. So if you enjoyed watching this today, uh, definitely feel free to give a like down below. And if you like watching automation type stuff in Modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel because that's what I generally show off. Um, I will be back on Friday doing an uh, Automate Everything video once again. Um, this is just kind of a one-off video because of a uh, time crunch because my server has been down and I've been tinkering and trying to fix it. Finally got that fixed. So yeah, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this, and signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 08 and I will see you next time.